Okay, so now we're going to start looking at black and white paintings, drawings. And this is from Pablo, Pablo Picasso. And you can see it's part of his sketchbook. You can see the spiral uh, trim on the page. And uh, what's the expression of this drawing? It's a preparation for one of his paintings. I'm not going to tell you the title because subject matter is something I would like you to disregard. I want you from here on in to look at the attributes of paintings of art as painters look at art. That's the whole key to walking into a gallery or a museum is you walk over and you don't have to look at the title to appreciate the experience of looking at an artist's work. You're going to look for, and one of the first steps, is expression. What is the expression on this drawing? Is she happy? No, she's not happy. She's in pain. This was a sketch that Picasso made in preparation for his painting, Rape of the Sabine Women. Very heavy, dark lines. And even on this sketch pad, he draws your eye around the composition by darkening this area. I assure you, as a painter, this section was added later. The hair gave him the key, and then he followed through by making this. So he draws your eye around. Most painters know how to draw the viewer's eye through a composition. And when a composition doesn't work, it's because a, a painter will stand looking at it and say, what can I do to make it work? And Picasso used this dark line around that figure. This is Katya Kalowitz. Notice, she takes this line of the shoulder. She had it here, the arm extend here. She smeared it a little bit, left it, but made the shoulder, the arm fall straight down. If you take your hand and try to imagine the shoulder coming out here, covering this hand, you will see that just that arc of the line makes a big difference in the, the expression of depression. Then this hand is reaching out to another hand. Mystery. What does that mean? You know, I don't care as a painter what it means. I'm more interested in the way Katya Kalwitz divides the negative space. Negative space on a visual art piece is the space left over from the subject matter. The subject matter is this woman. Her head is tilting downward. Her arms are going straight down. She's not happy. And she's extending this hand. But the piece works very well because of this other hand making the negative space rich. The fact that she didn't try to erase or tear out the piece and start over again because she didn't like where she put the arm the first place, she left the ghost of her first attempt, in my view, makes the negative space richer, makes the piece richer. And, and what she had here, the same thing. She either had the dress coming out or a leg moving upward. Whatever she did, she changed her mind. The person who bought this at Christie's a couple of years ago and paid $62,500 for the drawing is very delighted that she never threw it out and started another piece, that all the riches of her attempt makes it a piece that we can relate to, you know, being human and not perfect, of taking risks, of changing our minds. And the name of the piece, Taking the Hand of Death. There's nothing wrong with knowing the artist's intent, but what I'm trying to get across is 
you can enjoy two-dimensional art without knowing the artist's intent. And here's another example by Henri Matisse, where we see his changes. This arm was originally here. These knees were here. Originally, he had a, a negative shape that was wider. So he moved her body and made this more like a V, which is kind of a feminine shape. A race is not necessary. If you smear and go over it, you're going to have a richer piece. Now we have a positive shape of a young girl by Aegon Sheila, and she is put dead center. Now that phrase, dead center, means something in visual art. That's the most passive place to choose to do a positive shape on a uh, format. He has smeared, doesn't smear here. Notice it's whiter here, but it's a little taint tainted. He makes her most vulnerable with this large space on both sides of her so that all this is negative. There's more negative space than positive subject matter. And then this very vulnerable girl, young girl. Uh, Aeon Sheila has uh, spent some time in jail on pornography. He died in his late 20s or early 30s from influenza. He dealt with a great, great deal of um, poverty. His biography, um, I could say, is um, kind of lively. Uh, you might be interested in his life. He obviously was extremely talented. He'd, we were deprived of his potential by his early death. Uh, but he had a uh, tumultuous life. His mentor was Klimt. The other German expressionists saw in him an enormous talent that unfortunately we lost. Here he is again. The head is the only thing that's really not abstract. Even the fingers and the hand is just floating and not attached to anything. The chair is just lines that fill space so that he ends up with covering just this part of the format with a positive shape, and the rest is negative. Now, negative shape is the most unfortunate uh, name to uh, any space on a painting, because every th space is significant, and the connotation of the word negative is unfortunate. I consider this shape as significant as his choice in making the positive shape. Here's um, Matisse. Look at her eyes. Look at the facial expression. Matisse said, the painter looks at a woman when he is drawing her in the same way he looks at a plant. Look at the expression on her face. And then the closest I could come to a Matisse plant was a vase of flowers. Charming but expressing an entirely different feeling.